Shalom beloved, our verse for today is the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 17, verse 1. It reads, Then Jesus said to his disciples, Occasions for stumbling are bound to come, but woe to anyone through whom they come. Jesus declares a reality that we may not actually like to hear. Occasions for stumbling. The Greek word here is skandalon, which means to cause to stumble, to tempt, to entice. Occasion for such are bound to come, but woe to him or her through whom they come. The first question that comes to mind here is, why is it that occasions for stumbling are bound to come? Why must they come? Our mind goes immediately to those words in the letter, the first letter of St. Peter, chapter 5, verse 8. He says, Be calm, but vigilant, because your enemy, the devil, is prowling around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. How does the devil prowl around? How does he look for someone to devour? The answer is simple. The devil uses mostly human agents to achieve his purpose. Therefore, woe here is meant for that person who brings himself, who volunteers himself, who gives himself to be used by the devil to be a snare, a cause of temptation, an enticement, a cause of stumbling for the other. The devil does not force anyone. You have to accept. You have to open yourself to the wiles of the evil one to be used for such evil act. And therefore, it is a call for us to be careful not to allow ourselves, rather than being used as agents of light, to be used as agents of darkness. In our world already, we have many personal sins. And when we entice others, when we cause others to stumble and sin, we have a share in their own sins. Why multiply sins? God forbid, we are called to multiply goodness. Let's take the case of Judas for example. Judas allowed himself to be used by the devil when the plan was being hatched to track down Jesus and put him down. He allowed himself to be used. And we know the end. It was disastrous. So it is when we allow ourselves to be used by the evil one, the end is always disastrous. But when we, on the other hand, allow ourselves to be used by the Holy Spirit to bring God's goodness, to bring love, to bring joy, to bring healing, the result is the blessings of God. We bring joy, we bring salvation to the other and we also receive grace of God and will receive salvation. That is our call out as Christians. Opposite of causing people to stumble. To make people see the light and the joy of God. And so we ask the good Lord for the grace day by day to ask ourselves this critical question. Am I a cause of scandal on for any person? Am I causing anyone to stumble? Am I enticing anyone to sin? If the answer is yes, it is time to rise like the prodigal son and go back to the father and say, I have sinned against heaven and earth and against you. But if I am on the right path, it is time to continue. The Lord wants us to be agents of light. May we spread the light of the love of God to the ends of the earth. Amen. Remember blessed in the Lord.